take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Sand dollars have no heart, brain, or eyes. They can still feel pain though, so don't think that it can't tell when you kill it for your seashell collection. On the underside of sand dollars you'll find thousands of tiny, fine hair-like things that help it move. You'll also find its mouth and anus there. Let's help you make your mark. During their average lifespan of about 10 years, a sand dollar is actually a living organism, and is a cousin of sorts to other echinoderms like sea cucumbers, sea stars, also known as starfish, and sea urchins. Take our lead. But scientists are hardly the only ones who find meaning in this unassuming creature's story. Like everything else, they are worth whatever you can get someone to pay. Someone with a saltwater aquarium might pay something for a living one, perhaps $5 to $15. Let's help you make your mark. This shell is called a test and is the endoskeleton of a sand dollar, a burrowing sea urchin. The shell is left behind when the sand dollar dies and its velvety spines fall off to reveal a smooth case underneath. A sand dollar's body has five jaw sections, 50 calcified skeletal elements, and 60 muscles. Take our lead. How to tell their age. Just like counting the rings on a tree stump, you can count the growth rings on the plates of the exoskeleton to see how old a sand dollar is. According to the aquarium, they usually live 6 to 10 years. Their pores move them. Make your mark, take our lead. Because sand dollars have hard skeletons and very few edible parts, they don't have many predators. One a few creatures will accept the challenge of ingesting them, though, such as ocean pout, eel-like fish with wide, fleshy mouths, California sheepheads, starry flounders, and large pink sea stars. Let's help you make your mark. The dead sand dollar on the left has started to fade. Two, another way to determine if the animal is alive is by observing its color. Sand dollars can vary from a deep brown to a purplish red color when alive. After the animal dies, the sun causes its color to fade, and the skeleton eventually turns silvery white. Take our lead. Any beachcomber who finds sand dollars along their stroll considers it a lucky omen. They aren't likely to be found on many beaches, but there are several spots around the United States where you'll find them, including one of my favorites, Wingershik Beach, in Gloucester, Massachusetts. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.